Hey everybody, it's me, Megan, here at Fit Life. Come to talk to you today about having a plan of attack. Now, when clients come here and train with me, the hour is planned. I know what I'm going to do. And I also provide them with homework that they do on their own when they're not training with me. And so it's important on your fitness journey to know what you're going to do heading into your workout. It's very time efficient. And it also gives you the structure to really utilize and maximize all the time that you're there. You know, you might have a plan that on Mondays you're going to do chest and back. Tuesdays you're going to do biceps and triceps. And that's a great way to structure your week and then add in your cardio throughout. But to walk in and kind of wander around and, okay, well, I kind of feel like doing this today. Oh, you know, hey, I can do that and kind of use whatever's available, it's still working out, right? Still getting the heart rate up, still burning calories, but you're kind of not there 100% in terms of you're just like, okay, I'm gonna go get a workout in. But let's have some goals. Let's have some structure that really makes us want to accomplish something in that hour or so that we're at the gym. And I really think that it helps keep you on track and focus because, you know, on this day I'm supposed to do that, this day I'm supposed to do this, and if you miss a day, it kind of throws off that plan of attack. So I always like to say, have a plan of attack on your fitness journey. Yes, be flexible because, hey, there might be speed bumps, but that's when you get back on track and know that you have that plan to pursue. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thank you.